the, 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 the LAPD and the, and the West Coast police officers weren't happy about. Um, Snoop Dogg talking and Ice T talking about cop killers cop and killers all that stuff. And like that that yeah. was not popular, and all that led to was bad blood between you guys and you know those guys and yeah, the police yeah. department. Because no. the police departments know what's up, and they take very, very um, special pay special attention to that. Well, the, the, well, a lot of people say that the, the biggest gang in, in in every state or in every city happens to be the NYPD. The NYPD, right? <laughs> we you know, have our own gang. And yeah. they, they, they wear blue uh, for a specific reason. Um, I'm going to ask you the obvious. In your opinion, and I feel, you know, at whatever level that you care to answer these questions, who killed Biggie? Biggie was killed. In a, a, you know, according to what it's been said that he his his death was a result of um, the guys that um, with Orlando and Anderson the payback from the Orlando Anderson show. Okay. They they said it was it was it also from the same situation. It stemmed from the same situation. It was it was more or less the, the beef that happened between Tupac and Biggie that really led out there to the West Coast, but also. There were, there were so many different rumors about what happened, and, and one of the guys that came up that was mentioned by Greg Kading was Keefe D. Yes, I his name has always come up. His name came up. It came up also in the death of Tupac as well. And it came back when I was investigating the case as well, back in ninety six, ninety seven. Who so is this guy? Keith, is he he, was, he seems to be connected. A he lot. was a, a relative, I think, of Orlando's uh, uh, uncle. Or whatever it was, but he was involved back then. Yeah, actually, there's, a, there's an actual audio confession. In which right, he we're, we're great, on yeah, Greg, Greg Kading did a good job on that, by the way. Okay. By putting that together, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened in L.A. And listen, it happened in his stomping ground, so he should know basically sure. what went on with those guys. But yeah, basically that's what happened back then. So, what was it though? In other words, like, was the beef that bad? Well, the theory the was one the that Biggie got killed over a beef, a, a debt that wasn't paid to um, some Crips. That out in uh, uh, Los Angeles. Really? And then the other theory was that these guys killed him because it was a hit put out on, on him. A hit by who? Which two theories are very plausible. They're very, you know, believable and plausible. But the whole idea is to, yeah, to well, put those theories together people. and to, to pinpoint them. Yeah, of course. In Greg Kading's documentary, he sort of pointed that out. I, yeah, yeah. He sort yeah, of pointed yeah. that out. But listen, I already knew those things of back course. then because I was out there in Los Angeles before Greg Kading got on the case. But don't get me wrong, Greg Kading did a great job. I mean, these things came up back then when I was there. Sure. Because Greg Kading wasn't there at the time, it was really Russell Poole, who I dealt with back then. Russell... Uh, Russell Poole was the lead detective the back lead then. Detective of, but he had passed, he's passed away. He passed away, yeah. So in other words, why is it so? Because the thing is that also we have security guard, Frank Alexander, passed away as well. Yes. Right? And, and Tupac's bodyguard, uh, Frank Alexander, called me. And I think you knew he, Frank out there. I knew Frank, and Frank and I were supposed to talk, but Frank passed away suddenly too, and I, yeah, I was what, sad also. Now let me ask you a question. How did that, these, these are just rumors that I heard. I, I, maybe you can put them to rest. I heard Frank Alexander was shot in the back of the head. They said that too, but I, I think they said that it was self-inflicted, maybe, and it was more suicide. I think that's what they determined it to be. Listen, he had a lot of a lot of problems with Tupac. Yeah, he was talking a lot. Tupac regardless. bothered him. It, it, it ate at him. It bothered him. Because of what happened with Tupac, it did bother him a lot, and it was something that he couldn't get rid of. So, who knows what that man was going through at that time? I don't know. You know, I mean, we spoke by phone, but we never met in person. Okay, hold on one second. I just want to tell our audience right now because I, I got your questions. I'm just going to shut down right here on Facebook Live. Okay. I'm going to keep 